thank the South City Source Giving you all of the news about every single course Whether it's sports or something that's important Over there, sort in, paper by paper So all of us will know what's going on now or later Announcements and segments, you know we make them cool The Source gives the freshest buzz from around the school Keeping up to date with the school-related news Leaving you entertained is what we love to do Good morning, campers. Welcome back. Uh, just uh, I'm your only announcements today, and uh, first thing I wanted to do is uh, say I hope everyone had a great holiday, enjoyed their break, and had a festive new year, and is ready to get back for another positive second semester. Um, due to timing, I didn't get the opportunity to talk with you prior to the break due to finals week and things uh, about the unfortunate tragedy in uh, Connecticut at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown. But I wanted to take a moment because obviously a tragedy of this uh, magnitude obviously brings a lot of anxiety to people and I wanted to kind of address some situations with you and, and talk a little bit with you about precautions that we take at school and some additional things that we'll be doing in the future to make sure an incident like this uh, doesn't happen on our own campuses. But first and foremost, I want to assure you that you go to a school that is a, a school that puts safety first and the importance and the safety and the health of all our students is an important part of every member staff. Uh, every staff member's approach to working with you every day. Um, just for you to be aware of, you know, there's no absolute way to make every campus perfectly, uh, perfectly locked for any type of bad situation to occur. Anybody that tells you that uh, would not be being truthful for you. I mean, even if we went to prison type walls and 30 foot bars and doors and things like that, there are still opportunities for things to occur. But for what we do is we make precautions. We have a safety plan that we update every year um, and to try to make it the, the best. And we try different scenarios. I'm sure you've been part of the duck and covers. You've been part of the, the lockdown procedures. You've been part of fire drills. All those are components to, um, to what we do to make the campus safe. Um, the other part is I think it's important to, especially in times of anxiety, to realize the likelihood actually of a school shooting happen is very low in comparison to things like car accidents, but nothing to take away the magnitude of those situations and the tragedy that occurred in Connecticut. And I think it's also important to understand that what happens afterwards, and we've all been to enough trainings here, to, to it's impossible to try to comprehend or understand it and uh, try to find a reason why bad things like that happen. And I, and I truly want to share with you, I feel like there isn't a good reason why any of that happened. It is an unfortunate tragedy that occurs. And what we need to do as far as those that aren't involved is learn from that and do our best to try to prevent them. So some of the preventative measures that we do is I, I want to make sure that we understand that when we do perform those drills, they are serious and that we do take them serious because uh, those are the best practice that we have. And we will be doing some additional drills upcoming to kind of prepare for that. Now gives you kind of a greater understanding of processes. For example, why everybody that comes in or leaves campus as far as staff have to sign in at the office. Why we make them wear that ugly lime chartreuse name tag that has their, their pieces on that. Um, those are all precautions to make sure that we're control and aware of who is coming on or going off of our campus. It's also important why you have to sign out so we have a notice of where you're at during the course of the day and if you leave campus. Also it makes you understand a little bit about why some of our rules are as they are. Yes, no one likes the, the no hoods rule, but I think it also makes it uh, makes all students and all people on campus more identifiable, and so we're sure of that. And the other important precaution that we make is please to remember to communicate. If someone's on campus that shouldn't be, or you are concerned about that, it's virtually impossible for every one of us, including the campus supervisors, to know every individual on this campus. If you have concerns or you hear information or something comes across on Facebook, MySpace, or the million other things that we have in the social media network, it is important for us uh, for you to share that with us so we can take precautionary measures and to be involved in making sure everybody is safe here on campus. 
Uh, you'll be coming uh, up down the road. We're going to be planning uh, a parent information night that is going to address how the school responds to safety issues and how we keep South San Francisco High uh, safe. We're also going to be practicing some additional drills coming down the road where we're going to try to bring the police in to actually kind of evaluate how we run the process of a lockdown drill in any ways that we can do to improve it. So even though some time has passed, and I apologize for not getting to you sooner, I wanted to make sure that I shared with you some of the precautions that we had to try to release some anxieties and tell you how important safety is to not only me but to everybody on this campus and that you are part of also keeping the campus safe so make sure that you're communicating and uh, I'm looking forward to a great second half of the year I'm glad to see everybody's back and so if you would please rise we are now going to begin the Pledge of Allegiance thank you Please start with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thanks and have a great day. You didn't tell me I had to do that. Where's my director?